fail, it's rage from spiritual and angelic guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn, and this will be for the 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Also, please don't send me abusive messages about the reading being not suiting you. It's a general reading. Yes, it might be the same as other readers. I can't help that. Um, I shuffle and read the cards. So please don't send me any abusive messages about this, um, you know, in future. Um, as I said, check out other readers. I would love that. You know, go and there's, there's so many great readers out there. Check them out. You know, just because what mine doesn't suit you doesn't mean others won't. So, yeah, take what resonates, as I said. So, also, time can be fluid and, and energy can be vice versa. If we talk about you, it could be your person and vice versa. Take as resonates. Um, also, for this reading, I'm going to be using the Angel Wisdom. I'm going to be using the Everyday Witch Oracle. I'm going to use the Romance Angels. We'll do Tarot and I'll end it with the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle. Just get a bit more information as well. Um, I've got a bit of a block nose right now. So my voice might sound a bit strange, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's start. Capricorn. But I hope you're all well anyway. Okay, let's see what's going on. Capricorn. Okay, you've had a few fall out. Probably a few too many, but anyway. Maybe they're there for a reason. Okay, so you're currently or will be possibly in the hermit energy, which just means that you're taking some time to do some soul searching, some introspection, all that sort of situation. Um, you've got the eight of pentacles in reverse. So you might be too focused on one area of your life. Maybe you have no ambition. Um, you're, you're a bit of a perfectionist, but yeah, I feel like maybe you're just feeling like you're too, you're too focused on, on a situation. Um, and maybe, you know, it hasn't turned out the way you hope, so therefore you're feeling down with the sun in reverse. But maybe that's why you're taking some time for you. Right. So you're moving to calmer waters. It's the end of challenging times with this card. The Six of Swords. Things are looking up. A welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression or an illness, travel or relocation. So yeah, you're moving from a difficult situation now into calmer waters. So things are now going to start getting a bit easier. Um, you have the Hierophant card. Um, this can be about you learning. Maybe there's a spiritual lesson for you. Um, it can also be that maybe you need to ask the divine for help. Trust the answers will come. Um, maybe you become a bit more spiritual. Maybe this person is married or you're married to this person um, in a high level of commitment, any of that sort of situation. You were probably in a situation that <coughs> didn't work out. It was hostile, as I said. But I feel like somebody wants to reconcile. They want to make amends and they might offer that to you. As I said, they may offer that to you. This can also be a new relationship. Or a couple on offer. So lucky you, Capricorn. So yeah, as I said, somebody may want to reconcile. It doesn't mean that they you choose to. You're moving on to a different, you, you know, you're moving on from the difficult times to a more calmer water. So maybe you don't go anywhere with this situation. But you've got, say, a new relationship. They may propose to you. They may come at you and be like, I want to propose now. They're coming at you very determined very driven, decisive. Someone's coming at with great speed. Um, you need to review your options very carefully. So that could be what this card means, right? It could also mean you have multiple offers, but maybe someone is just going to come and offer you something and they, they're coming in, they're very driven to succeed. They're very determined in what they want. And this could be the new relationship. So either there's a new relationship coming or, and that's why you're moving on, or someone's going to reconcile and maybe they're going to come in and be like, I want to marry you, move to this high level of commitment with you. Um, yeah, they want to offer you this emotional fulfillment and, you know, any of that. It, but as I said, it could also be a new relationship come in. So we'll, we'll, we will clarify with the other cards and get more information anyway. But I feel like, as I said, you're probably in this permit mode right now, or you will be. 
feeling quite down about a few things. Obviously, that haven't worked out the way you hoped. Okay, Capricorn. You're not wanting to give some relationship a chance. This could also be affecting your love life with the finances. I'm sorry, finances and career. There may be some financial um, situation, but I feel like you're not wanting to give this relationship a chance, but you are going to end up free, freeing yourself. Now, here's the reconciliation card. You don't want to reconcile or it's not on offer right now. Could be any of those situations. You need to love yourself first, and this could also be a past life relationship. You feel like it's not safe for you to love, though. But something else is going to come in, and it is going to be worth waiting for. Um, you possibly need to have some sort of separation from this current situation, and also forgive and learn from this current situation. The two that fell out. Somebody is not wanting to make an effort. It's not an equal give and take. Um, and I feel like there's either no communication right now, um, or somebody's not expressing how they feel. Okay, tell me more for Capricorn, please. Yeah, so you are probably going to have some tears of sadness. Um, you are also, it's going to take strength to get through a situation, but you are going to grow from this. And I feel like somebody's going to come in and offer you love. But yeah, it's going to take a bit to get through this. As I said, this could be a new relationship coming in the future, but you need to deal with this stuff first. I feel like you're not following whatever whatever dreams maybe you need to work on manifesting, but I feel like you're not really kind of following what dreams that you have for your life. Maybe you've wanted kids and this person, you know, kept promising you that, but it never ever happened. So maybe you, you haven't been able to follow your dreams. You need to now work on manifesting what you want and making sure they happen. If that's what you want, that kind of situation, make it happen. And it doesn't have to be about kids, so just in general. Okay, so tell me more about Capricorn. For so the 3rd to the 9th of May. Yeah, you're just doing the hermit. You're taking some time to just kind of be by yourself. Um, you know, you need to do that. Meditation, recuperation, kind of contemplating, soul searching, introspection, all that, getting some clarity. This situation was probably a distraction or a missed opportunity. It could have just not been the right time for you guys. Um, so, yeah, you might have some choices. You need to take some action to be, you know, be determined to take some action to succeed in whatever it is you want. But I feel like you will move on. Yeah. I feel like you're going to get some clarity about the situation as well. Tell me more. So there will be some sort of ending if it hasn't already. Um, this is you making a big change, you know, working on you now and transitioning. You realize it's time to move on. You've got to keep the faith though in whatever it is you want. If you want a new relationship, then focus on that. Don't lose hope. It's funny, these cards came out. I feel really tired. The situation left you feeling unfulfilled and bored and just you doubted everything. You're not open to a new beginning, but there is going to be a tower moment. And, you know, this is this is a sudden unwanted change, upheaval, awakening, revelation, some sort of situation where normally that's when the universe knows you need to get rid of somebody who... You know, and this person may want to reconcile. What did I say to you a minute ago? This card has already come out. 
Ugh. Somebody's obsessed with details. He did this, she did this. They're also worried about what other people will think. I feel like the same cards keep coming up though. I feel really tired. Okay, tell me more for Capricorn, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't make these cards fall out, even if I try. Here you are, releasing the worry. You realize there were secrets. You've got them deep-seated fears. Um, but here you are. You know, you're resting. You're recuperating. You're contemplating. Um, you are relaxing meditating you're just taking some time really i mean i feel i feel that i feel like i'm exhausted i feel like i normally you know i mean i was fine a second ago but i feel like i'm just exhausted and i might burn some more sage in a second because my sage has gone out but i feel like you need to take some time just as i said being a hermit being by yourself just maybe spend some time in nature But I feel like you are making progress, but it's very slow. You have everything inside you to get through this, though. This is about you having strength and perseverance and putting up your boundaries, you know, all that sort of situation. The strength to get through something that they probably left you like the victim. They left you feeling like you were left out in the cold. Oh, my goodness. I feel rude every time I yawn, but... I can't help it. Like this, you know, I feel like exhausted. This is how I feel. And it's not me that feels this way. Once I sage, I'll be fine. Okay, you've got, remember that accept love card? So you're working currently on being self-sufficient and independent, right? You're growing from this situation. But also, you've got this card before, except love. Now, this is you doing that. This is you having romantic love. Some, you know, you're very compatible. You're mutually attracted to each other. And this could be the soulmate card, twin flame card. But I feel like you need to manifest what it is you want. You're probably being manipulated. So take back the power in your own life. Be a leader. You could have, um, there could have been a third party, but this is also about you now taking some alone time, which we've already established, because you felt discontent and bored in this situation. They didn't fulfill you. You've got choices to make, but you are going to end up completing this lesson or goal, which is great. Ugh. Get some sage in a minute. Okay, so why is the Hermit card here for Capricorn? Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is you. Um, you Possibly there were obstacles. You could have been being controlled. Um, somebody was greedy, overspending, all that sort of stuff. But I feel like... Mm, so sorry. Nine of Swords. I just feel like, as I said, this is the same card. This is you just, you know, releasing the worry and you are going to end up walking away. You feel like you put in all the hard work and carried the burden and, you know, you're done with that. Okay, tell me more about the death card and the star card in reverse. This is a very self-sufficient person, the Queen of Swords. Somebody who's very independent, has clear boundaries, they're very direct with their communication. And I feel like maybe you were that kind of person and maybe you've transformed into that kind of person. From whatever you've been through, you've gone, you know what? No, that's not okay. You know, you've been very honest. Yeah, self-sufficient. Ugh. 
Oh my God. I feel like you're repressing emotions and I also feel like you're on a spiritual path. I'm just going to say to myself because if I keep yawning, I feel really rude, first of all. Okay. Somebody could have been overwhelmed by their choices. They're very determined with their willpower though. Why is there a lack of hope in this? Like you feel like you're not going to get your ace of cups. I feel like you, you feel like you're not going to get the the happy family, the marriage, the kids, the you know, whatever this is for you. I feel like though you possibly have these conflict disagreements, you're in competition with other people, you could be going through court. It's also all about your self-respect. You need to work on that. So you need to rest and rejuvenate. There'll be more. That was four of swords. What is the four of swords here? Page of Cups, rest and rejuvenate. And I feel like Page of Cups is like some new love, but it's also about trusting your intuition. Um, I feel like this whole time you didn't need to focus on your intuition. The situation, you know, as I said, it didn't turn out to give you wishes for fear, but it, um, I feel like it was just left you feeling dissatisfied and... Yeah, it didn't eventuate, which is why you, you know, are releasing the worries. There are probably things you didn't know about. Okay, so tell me about the soulmate card, Two of Cups. Why is that here? Okay, so Five of Swords, there was a situation that was very hostile. That's the first card. Um, I feel like though you stood your ground in a situation, you know, you protected yourself, you stood your ground. Um, I also feel like you persevered, you know, and here you are being the hermit. Like I said, you've got this card three times now. You've got the solitude card. You've also got the hermit card here and now you've got the hermit card again. You're definitely just taking some time for you. You thought you were going to get old with this person um, and also feel like you may have known them for a long time, since childhood, that kind of thing. For some of you, that's not for all of you, but a lot of you just felt like you were going to be with this person forever. And you've got King of Pentacles. You want someone who's reliable and has security and is competent and you know, abundant, all those things. But the tower is going to make something happen and you've got to take back your own power as well. This is about absolution, making a final decision, having rebirth, some sort of wake-up call with the absolution with the judgment card. And here you are doing some just financial, being a bit more financially independent. I feel like I want a bit more information. I mean, I feel like it's telling me that not, you know, you didn't get everything you want. I mean, it's telling me accept love. So you will eventually have some new love offer come in and you're moving from, from to calmer waters. Okay, so tell me about an outcome for Capricorn, please. Queen of Cups. Capricorn, please. One more. Okay. So 
somebody is worried about what other people think. They're very obsessed with he did this, she did this. Um, but I feel like you're not, you're not, okay, the situation you were in, I feel like you weren't like a match couple. Um, I don't know how to explain this better. Like you're like the queen of cups, right? You're coming across very nurturing, healing, compassionate, gentle, that sort of thing, right? Or somebody in the situation is. The other person is coming across like a king of wands where they're more sort of a natural born leader, they're confident, they maybe got their own business, but they're not the queen and king of the same suit. So possibly you're just a bit of a mismatch pair. Um, that's what I want to say. There could also be somebody uh, like a third party involved. It's like you, them, and someone else. Anyway, let me just ask the Love Oracle. Okay, it's going more for oh, Capricorn, please. Okay, I'm gonna have to move and get this one. Okay, maybe go and spend some time with friends. Maybe turn to your circle of support, have a cup of coffee. Um, maybe you're just meeting other people, but for friendship and having a cup of coffee. Okay, so the ones that came out, spend some time with friends, be happily single, as I said to you a minute ago, go and just have fun, live in the present. You have a lack of confidence and I feel like you feel like you're not enough for anyone, especially this person. But the relationship is over. They don't You're not going to give them any second chances. You need to grow from the situation. As I said, you could have been in a high level of commitment with this person or married or they were married, one or the other. Right, the other cards that fell out, maybe they fell out two separate for a reason. But I feel like somebody in the situation is not making healthy choices because they have a lack of self-love, self-care. This could suit one person, all of it, but otherwise I'm giving you the options. But somebody was kind of stringing them along. It was like they had other options, like keys on a ring. But I feel like you need to heal your inner child. You're growing. You're like a butterfly. You are evolving and you are going to meet someone new. Someone's going to come in and ask you to date. This other person was not your soulmate. And I also feel like there could have been some sort of seduction. There could have been a third party interference. There could have been someone, you know, meeting, dating, flirting, blah, blah, blah. But as I said, I feel like someone new is coming because you've got this card. You've also got this card. And you've got the Ace of Ace of Cups. New love. Except the love. So anyway, that is what I have for you. Capricorn, I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next read. Okay, bye.